six, nine, Hello there YouTube, today we're going to unbox the VZBot 330. We want to thank Mello and Simon aka Vez to make it possible for us to get this printer onto the channel. So we're going to get everything out of the box, what's included. So we have first a VZ330 packing list which contains and shows what's inside of the box. And then we have all these blue boxes that contains all the electronics and everything you need to assemble the printer and it's named from A to C and then 1 to 7. So all these boxes are also in the build guide you will it will show you which one you need when and you will also it's really convenient to have these boxes all separate and also uh, numbered and lettered. So that's uh, number seven and then we have these cable guiders uh, to tidy your electronics on the back of the printer when you install the electronics and you have also a DIN rail that's the first layer of the box and then we have more blue boxes number two and three and one is on the other layer I think and then we have two power supplies one is 24 volt and one is 48 volt you will need both of them and here is the aluminium extrusions and the guiding for your Z that's it and the next layer we have uh, the X and Y axis frame which comes assembled and these are all the parts you will need for the Z assembly so the bed parts all of them for the Z are all aluminium parts all CNC and here we have the NEMA motor that you will need for your Z assembly And number one, box number one is also there. And we have two auxiliary fans. And we have one fan to for the exhaust on the back of the printer. And then we have a CPAP that we will need to cut to size later. sliding bearings and we have the heating element for the bed and we have the PEI sheet with the VZBot logo on there and we have the aluminium casting underneath for the bed as well and we have magnetic sheet for the bed and we have the frame for the Z and we have the back side of the printer which will contain all the electronics and it has also very neatly the VZBot logo this is the bottom plate and this is some acrylic and we have the electronic base acrylic which has the logo in color and we have more acrylics and more acrylics that we will need for the enclosuring of the printer so that's it guys that's everything inside of the box now we will move to the building of the frame of the printer and we our journey starts there Introducing PCBWay.com, the online one-stop shop for all your electronic ambitions. Need circuit technology or small-run manufactured parts? PCBs, 3D prints or CNC millings in PLA, ABS or aluminium and a whole rainbow of colour options. Upload your specs, approve the design, pay and await express delivery. Fair pricing, no minimum orders and total control throughout. Contact our design team at PCBWay.com So, to build the frame we need the box 6 and the extrusions. So the extrusions that we are going to use are the ones with the holes in 
and you can see them right here and some of these extrusions do have holes but the holes are like there is no gap so that you can fit your m5 bolts in there so make sure you take the ones with the holes which are these these have holes and around the holes there are roundings so you can just fit your m5 through it so for the first part of this we need three extrusions and the exact ones that we need is the 2040 extrusion this one without any holes because none of them have holes so we need the 2040 here and we need a 2020 that is 530 millimeter which is this one the long one and we also need the 2020 which is 460 millimeter which is this one so all these three we don't need these for now so these three needs to be you know put together and to do that you do need to have a loctite blue m5 screws that you're going to use which are the m5 by 25s so there are 14 pieces in there we're going to take two of them out and we're going to make sure that we put some loctite blue on there just to secure them because this printer is really fast so if you don't do this then i'm afraid <laughs> after some time the gantry will start like you know taking some odd shapes and we don't want that so what we're going to do is take your loctite blue we don't need much of it just a tiny bit on your m5 bolt like this you put some here and then you make sure it's all around it just like that make sure you, you get some good portion of it like this so let me show you guys this is what you have to do do not drown it in it so this is enough and let's put this here and then we need the other bolt as well just a tiny bit and if you put too much just make sure you just feed it around it so that everything is covered all these threads just like that okay and we're gonna put that one here as well so I am using the M5 by 25 bolts now and we're gonna take the 2040 extrusion like this Let me get rid of these for a while and we're gonna take one of the 2020 and we're going to well I'm gonna have to put it this way I'm gonna show you in a second now what I'm gonna do this one was a 530 millimeter that I put on this side here I'm gonna show you in a minute guys don't worry and now we're gonna take the second extrusion 2020 extrusion which is 460 millimeter this one and we're going to do it on the opposite side and then put your m5 by 25 through it just like that so you have this angle on your frame so when you have this angle once just like that you do it twice and then we move on to the next step now the next step is we take another 2040 extrusion and we put on one of the each ends after we put these two that we uh, assembled same thing twice and then you just put it on the opposite way onto each other and then you line it up here on the on the edge and then you make sure you also use the loctite blue and then we're going to go through this extrusion here just like that so that's three of them and then we have another extrusion 2040 and that's we're going to use that one here we're going to use on the edge that is not being bolted yet so as you can see be careful with this because it's like not yet ready to be handled so carefully we're gonna move this around on the edge like that and this is what I'm talking about you just line it up just like this so the frame is like straight and then we're gonna use this one on this edge here so again we take the m5 by 25s two of them and we make sure we use the loctite blue i always say this because yeah you don't really like if you don't do this it's not gonna make your build fail but it's just something you should do we prime this and we do the other one as well as i said you don't need much of this stuff i'm just trying to get all the threads here that's it and then we line this well i what i try to do is always get this on the edge so that it's easier for me and then i place this on here like that it's a little bit of fiddling but you can do it
and then we get through one bolt here and we catch the thread just like that and then we fasten it don't over fasten it just yet guys we need to make the frame really flat and square so I'm just you know getting it a bit to work right now and now the second bolt that's it so now we have the four poles on this uh, the, the frame itself this is the bottom bit here because the gantry that was pre-assembled comes on top of it and that's what we're going to do now so next we take the gantry and we're going to get one part of it off so that we can assemble it onto the frame itself and for that if you have watched other videos you will see you will hear about them talking about it but these parts here these these and on the motors on the left right here on the edges they are all printed in PLA so make sure you just reprint them you can find them on the github page STL files and you can just reprint them I will also put a link in the description below so and then replace them with the ones uh, that you print reprint in ABS so that your friend that those parts do not start deforming when you're when it's in the enclosure that uh, set apart we are going to get these frames here just loosened up and then we can just take it off uh, loosen these two bolts here this one this one and remove this one and on the same side on the left side you loosen this up and you remove this one and on the bottom end here on the, on the other side of the gantry you have to loosen one up and remove the other one so this one has to be removed and this one has to be loosened and you do the same on the left side as well slide these inwards so that you can put the gantry on top of here and then you slide these back onto its place and then you tighten these two on the left and the right and then you put these bolts back in there on the bottom end here and on the front here and then you have the top gantry mounted and that's about it for the full assembly of the gantry itself so on the next step we have to put these metal bits into the frame you have six of them and what you need for one piece is two m4 by 10 bolts two m4 washers and two m4 t nuts that's all you need so you take one of these and then you take your m4 bolt by 10 and then you put your washer in there and you slide it on from the inside you slide it this way in and you take your t nuts and you, you just put it sl slightly on there just like that and you do it on the other end as well you take your m4 by 10 and your washer put it inside of each other slide it in take it take your metal bit and you slide it on inside of the other other bits here as you can see and then you take your t nuts m4 t nuts and you tighten it a little bit down after that you just line these up just this way just like that and then you push it right into your frame that's it and then you tighten these bolts all together so what I'm going to tell you guys is to push this all the way up so you see your washer is going to touch the metal frame here and I tighten it that way which gives me a little bit of a tightening point just like that I don't over tighten it so I push this really nicely and I put the same one with the bottom one I put the washer all the way to the right side here so it's touching the metal frame that I just put in and then I tighten it this way and then we can just give it a little bit of more power don't over tighten it don't go crazy on it because you might do something bend something and we don't want that so just see that you know you, you can feel it that it's like tightened that is fine enough and you do this to all the corners except for the front ones the front ones do not need because you have to put those uh, bigger braces on there and that's how the front is being stiffened so now the next step is these the front ones that i was talking about and these are printed it's in the zip file of mellow so you can just take this 
and print this in, well, preferably in ABS because it's going to be inside of the gantry. And then this has to go right this way. So it's going to be mounted this way. So in order to get this ready, you need two M4 bolts, M4 by 10s again, and two M4 T nuts. So it's the same way here, you have to put your, we don't need uh, washers now, this time you don't need those. So you just put your M4 bolt right through here, like that. And then you take your T nut this way and you just put it on top on there and you don't completely turn it all the way in. And then you do the same on the other side. And then you put your T nut on there. like that and line these up so they are like straight so that they go with the frame and then you push them in here on one side and then the other you just line it up and that's it and then it should be sitting right like that and you tighten it of course so the here are some holes that you can use to go through it and then you use those holes to tighten it on one end here there we go, and then you do the same on the bottom bit here. And you do the same on the right side right here. So I got everything ready here, I put the T-nuts and the M4 bolts in here and line it up with the frame on the bottom and on the right side, just like that. And then we take our Allen screw and we tighten it. one side and this is the second side well the bottom bit there we go so after that the next step is to get these handles on your frame and they go this way so you see the VZ uh, bot logo on this side so well it doesn't matter but you know I like I like to do some perfection <laughs> and you have to put these right in the middle of the frame so it is 15 centimeters from the right and 15 centimeters from the left and right in the middle it has to come in order to put this on there, you still need to use the M4 by 10 and the T nuts for M4. So it's as simple as pushing your M4 by 10 bolts through and then get your M4 T nuts and on the other side and just put it, screw it on there just a tiny bit like that. And then you do the other side as well. Just push it through M4 T nut on the other side and you just tighten it just a tiny bit. So measure your frame from the left and the right, right in the middle, 15 centimeters from both sides. And then you put it right in the middle, just like that. And then you just tighten these, tighten it down, both sides. That's it.